Acute aortic syndrome is a group of life-threatening diseases of the thoracic aorta that usually present to the emergency department. The syndrome consists of three distinct pathologies, including acute aortic dissection, intramural hematoma, and penetrating aortic ulcer. In addition, it also includes aortoesophageal fistula and mycotic aneurysm. Acute aortic dissection is the most common and well-known form of acute aortic syndrome, accounting for approximately 60-70% of cases. It occurs when there is a tear in the intimal layer of the aortic wall, allowing blood to flow into the media layer and create a false lumen. Pitfalls in the diagnosis and management of aortic dissection. Aortic dissection, a grave medical emergency, demands swift and accurate diagnosis and treatment. However, a multitude of potential pitfalls exist that can derail effective management or lead to misdiagnosis. Here are some common pitfalls to be aware of when encountering aortic dissection. Pitfall number one. Failure to consider aortic dissection. Aortic dissection can present with a wide range of symptoms, including chest pain, back pain, abdominal pain, stroke, and other neurological deficits such as syncope. It is important to have a high index of suspicion for aortic dissection, especially in patients with risk factors such as hypertension, connective tissue disorders, or a family history of aortic disease. Aortic dissection is often referred to as the great imitator because it can present with a wide range of symptoms and signs. These can include cerebral ischemia, aortic regurgitation, arm ischemia, spinal cord ischemia, tamponade, myocardial infarction, abdominal pain, flank pain, pain above and below the diaphragm, free rupture, loss of consciousness, syncope, intestinal ischemia, renal ischemia, shortness of breath, sudden difficulty speaking, loss of vision, hemiparesis, painless paraplegia, weak pulse in one arm, hypotension, circulatory shock, cardiac tamponade, STEMI, anxiety, premonitions of death, dysphagia, scrotal pain, buttock pain, leg ischemia, and fever. Due to the wide range of symptoms and signs associated with aortic dissection, it is often misdiagnosed or diagnosed late, which can lead to serious complications and even death. It is important for healthcare providers to be aware of the potential for aortic dissection in patients presenting with chest pain or other symptoms suggestive of aortic disease. Prompt diagnosis and multidisciplinary management are essential for improving patient outcomes and reducing the risk of complications. Pitfall number two, misdiagnosis as other conditions. Aortic dissection can mimic other conditions such as myocardial infarction, pulmonary embolism, and musculoskeletal pain. It is crucial to differentiate aortic dissection from these conditions, as the management and prognosis can be significantly different. Pitfall number three. Reliance on clinical findings alone. Clinical findings alone are not sufficient to diagnose aortic dissection. A thorough physical examination is important including blood pressure measurement in both arms and auscultation for aortic regurgitation. Imaging studies, such as computed tomography angiography, CTA, or transesophageal echocardiography, TEE, are necessary to confirm the diagnosis. Pitfall number four, delay in obtaining imaging studies. Aortic dissection is a time-sensitive condition, and delays in obtaining imaging studies can lead to delays in diagnosis and treatment. If aortic dissection is suspected, imaging studies such as CTA and TEE should be obtained promptly. Pitfall number 5. Misinterpretation of imaging studies. Interpreting imaging studies for aortic dissection can be challenging especially in cases of atypical presentations or subtle findings. It is important to have expertise in interpreting these studies or to consult with a specialist if there is uncertainty. Chest X-ray may reveal several signs of acute aortic syndrome, which include widened mediastinum, calcium sign with intimal displacement more than 5 mm, altered mediastinal or aortic contour, opacification of the AP window, blurring of the aortic knob, double density of the aortic knob, left apical pleural cap, pleural effusion, especially on the left side, 
tracheal or esophageal deviation, widening of the paratracheal stripe, and distortion of left main bronchus. It is important for healthcare providers to be aware of these signs and to consider them in the differential diagnosis of patients presenting with chest pain or other symptoms suggestive of aortic disease. Pitfall number six, inadequate blood pressure control. Blood pressure control is crucial in the management of aortic dissection. Hypertension can worsen the dissection and increase the risk of complications. It is important to initiate antihypertensive therapy promptly and titrate to target blood pressure levels. Recommended antihypertensive medications include beta blockers, such as metoprolol or libetalol, calcium channel blockers, such as diltiazem or verapamil, and nitroprusside. Pitfall number seven. Failure to consider surgical intervention. Surgical intervention is often necessary in cases of aortic dissection, especially in those with complications such as aortic rupture or malperfusion. It is important to involve a cardiovascular surgeon early in the management of aortic dissection to determine the need for surgical intervention. Pitfall number 8. Inadequate pain management. Aortic dissection can cause severe pain, and inadequate pain management can lead to increased sympathetic activity and aortic wall stress, resulting in increased morbidity and mortality. It is important to provide adequate pain relief, often with intravenous opioids, while monitoring for potential adverse effects. Pitfall number 9. Lack of multidisciplinary approach. Aortic dissection requires coordination of care among multiple specialties, including cardiologists, cardiovascular surgeons, radiologists, and other specialists. Collaboration among these specialties is crucial for optimal management and outcomes. Pitfall number 10. Failure to address long-term management. Aortic dissection is a chronic condition that requires long-term management to prevent complications, such as recurrent dissection or aneurysm formation. Regular follow-up imaging studies and blood pressure control are essential in the long-term management of aortic dissection. Pitfall number 11. Lack of patient education. Patients with aortic dissection require education about their condition, including the importance of blood pressure control, the need for regular follow-up imaging studies, and the signs and symptoms of complications. Inadequate patient education can lead to poor adherence to treatment and increased risk of complications. Pitfall number 12. Failure to address underlying risk factors. Aortic dissection is often associated with underlying risk factors such as hypertension, connective tissue disorders, or atherosclerosis. It is important to address these risk factors to prevent recurrent dissection or other cardiovascular events. Lifestyle modifications, such as regular exercise, a healthy diet, and smoking cessation, should be encouraged. Medications to control hypertension and lipid levels may also be prescribed. Pitfall number 13. Inadequate communication with the patient. Aortic dissection can be a frightening and overwhelming diagnosis for patients and their families. It is important to communicate clearly and compassionately with the patient and involve them in the decision-making process. Provide information about the condition, treatment options, and potential complications in a way that the patient can understand. Pitfall number 14. Lack of awareness of emerging therapies. Emerging therapies such as thoracic endovascular aortic repair, TVAR, or hybrid procedures may be appropriate in select cases of aortic dissection. It is important to stay up to date on these emerging therapies and refer patients to centers with expertise in these procedures when appropriate. Pitfall number 15. Inadequate monitoring of vital signs. Vital signs such as blood pressure, heart rate, and oxygen saturation should be closely monitored in patients with aortic dissection. Sudden changes in these parameters can indicate worsening of the dissection or the development of complications. Pitfall number 16. Inadequate evaluation and management of complications. Complications such as aortic rupture, malperfusion, or stroke 
can occur in patients with aortic dissection. It is important to manage these complications promptly and appropriately to prevent further morbidity and mortality. In conclusion, aortic dissection is a complex and potentially life-threatening condition that requires a high index of suspicion, prompt diagnosis, and multidisciplinary management. By being aware of the potential pitfalls in the diagnosis and management of aortic dissection, healthcare providers can improve patient outcomes and reduce the risk of complications. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section.